Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have a lot of crazy drama going on over here, where one of the biggest PlayStation 5 games that are probably be coming out throughout this entire year is now officially banned. Like, I'm not even joking over here. Entire countries are now literally banning the game itself. I'm going to want to hear all your thoughts and comments down below. We also have some pretty big reports when it comes up to brand new games, some brand new big game games that actually just got came out, remastered games, a lot of other big stuff when it comes to the Destiny updates, just a lot of big things going on all throughout today. So if you guys will sit back, relax, and enjoy, and as well, if you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. We have the Twitter and Twitch room down below if you guys want to follow. And of course, all the Amazon links for the nice little consoles. And let's talk about some pretty big news because as you guys know, if you guys watch my videos or talk about me on Twitch or whatever, I am so extremely excited for a game coming out, which is a PlayStation 5 mostly exclusive called, and you guys may have heard of this one, Final Fantasy 16. Now, if you guys do or do not know, Final Fantasy 16 is probably going to be one of my game of the years, and I'm trying to go think of any other game that might even compete with it besides maybe Hogwarts Legacy, and there's a few other ones coming out, Starfield, etc. But we actually have some pretty, pretty big news going on right now, where it now seems like it's confirmed that as of this second, Final Fantasy 16 is now officially banned now in entire countries, and especially mainly in the Middle East, or as well also in Saudi Arabia. Now, if you guys have had a chance to maybe go see some of these tweets out over here too, we are now seeing official like news and dockets and all that type of stuff, where it's getting close to even a million views, showcasing up and talking about the fact that Final Fantasy 16 is now officially banned, as you guys can kind of go and see with this one. And well, that's kind of crazy because we actually saw some rumors like the same exact person themselves was trying to go and circulate the, like, the news and everything with it, that this game is now officially banned. And it's kind of a crazy story too, and I want to hear your thoughts and comments down below. I'm just going to lead off the comment over here from Circa saying, if this seems familiar to you, it's because I posted an unconfirmed report of this last night. Many in the comments in that thread said that the tweet when questioned by Saudi Arabia's head of ratings was actually more about the newest Horizon DLC. So very first and foremost, as you guys know, uh, every country has a slightly different maybe rule set and what they kind of allow and disallow when it comes to what's allowed in the country. So a good example is like China has like a very, very more stricter policy and the government officials and bodies actually have to kind of go really hardcore to determine if a game will be allowed or not to be sold. And as well, if they have to censor it or change it, there's also a lot of big things when it comes to like religious relief. And there's also other things too when it comes to cultural, like just a lot of big things. Like in America, we're actually pretty free when it comes to what we allow. But as well, there's also different, very, like, just, you, I'm sure you guys can tell. If you guys go to Japan versus America, you guys go to UK versus America, you guys go to maybe Pro Poland, Germany versus America, or even a place like, you know, Egypt, Dubai, South America, Australia, Brazil, everything is a slightly different culture, just depending on what the government, the rules, the religion, and everything else with it. So a lot of folks are kind of skeptical that it actually might have been regards down to the Horizons DLC, which also did have a lot of feedback and negative feedback from people who are kind of just against, like, the LGBTQ type push uh, when it comes to the game, game involvement, etc. So... So it was kind of making at least uh, people in the early uh, stages of this like rumor slash news would be like, oh, okay, it doesn't, it's not necessarily right, but it makes sense of why Horizon might be well gone. But as of right this second, though, it seems like Final Fantasy 16 is now officially banned for somewhat similar reasons. So basically for them saying like he just even said they want to deal with the headache of Redditors trying to tell them that they're wrong. They took the thread down and decided to play it up in safeness and they kind of reposted up as of right now. So the big issue is with this. It seems like it's a hard confirmation coming out from official sources and official, like, basically news folks out there from a bunch of different leaks. And as well, it also corroborates, too, as well with other different types of leaks that came out, detailing that the game itself, a.k.a. Final Fantasy 16, would be blocked now in specific regions in the Middle East due to the explicit scenes with a main character, main, uh, main male character who actually happens to be gay. And then Square, uh, Square Enix refused to censor the scenes in question. The leaker describes them as explicit or alter the character. So here we are. The leaker has gotten a fair bit of things right. And have they seen in recent trailers? It seems relevant to post this here. So uh, let's go talk about this a little bit more. Obviously, if you guys want to give your thoughts and comments down below, just be respectful and be chill. Uh, but it does kind of seem like, as you guys probably know, in certain different types of cultures, especially in the Middle East, uh, while being gay or being trans and all that stuff is definitely more frowned upon, besides like, so how it would be like in the UK or America. And that's kind of what I was saying at the very start the video the very start of some of these videos, it does kind of seem like, well, some countries do not want to have this type of content or things being able to be bought, sold, make pro like money off of, or being showcased in the countries. And this kind of goes into kind of a both way. Now, I've always kind of said for me when it comes to video games, uh, number one, I don't necessarily care if there's a love interest or characters and stuff like that, you're gay or whatever, I don't mind, as long as it's not like kind of force-fed down your throats. Like if it's like one of those things just to be there, just to like appeal to folks, 
not the biggest fan. I understand the idea of representation and all that, but I, I, the same thing I always say, too, when it comes to, like, both a normal, like, guy and girl type relationship that people are, like, used to, quote-unquote. Uh, if it's forced into it, if it's food fed into you, I don't like it. I want the story. I want the plot. I want to play a video game. If it makes sense in the game and it makes the game better, guy and, guy and girl, girl and girl, guy and guy, whatever, if it's cool and it makes sense, I'm cool with it. I never mind. Like, hope that's never a bad take. I just don't necessarily like the idea if it's kind of, like, shoehorned into it and it's kind of pushed into it either way. Uh, do I think an entire country should ban it, though? I would say no. I mean, that's... Just, I think hopefully a lot of you guys would agree. I mean, if you guys don't, that's totally fine, too. I understand it, why you guys would not. But in my mind, it's just like... I, number one, I want to give a little bit of respect for Square Enix, saying, like, whatever. This is how the game is. This is what the story is. If it makes sense to us, we haven't had a chance to play the game, so we don't know if it's good, bad, or ugly, whatever it might be. But they're like, nah, we're going to stick with this. Who cares about this in certain regions? We have other, we have the big boy Americans. We got the Japan. We got the China. Probably we're good to go. But it's kind of crazy to go and say it actually is officially banned. Like, it's crazy this game is going to be a literally banned in quite a few different countries in the Middle East all because of this. Now, some of the feedback, I think, has been okay with it. Like, I think a lot of folks are like, yeah, that's fine. Like, we're Good, we're good with uh, Square Enix. We support that, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I guess we even kind of curious in this. It's like, hey, I just remember this when Saudi Arabia has finished spreading their proposed several tens of billions and buying up game studios. What it's going to mean for the industry? There are the largest stakeholders in Nintendo, outside of Nintendo themselves, and of course, a lot of folks are just not happy with the idea of companies trying to like push their agenda, push their thought process, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm kind of in the same boat. For someone like me, I've usually just been more of a fan of. Uh, basically just let, let the free market decide, and if the game is bad, or like I said, if it's kind of forced into it too much, people are going to probably judge it, they're going to say it's not going to be good. Now, I'm not against, like, if that type of relationship exists in the game, I'm cool with it, I never mind. But it is kind of crazy to go and see that entire countries are kind of banning this too as well. Like, some people are even saying, like, getting banned from Saudi Arabia is a badge of honors. If that's actually the case, it's a huge W for Square. Usually gay romances and media are just an uh, option to avoid bans like this. But looks like Yoshida has more power than Virgil from Devil May Cry Series 2 as well. Imagine spending millions of dollars in the gaming industry just to ban games too on top of that. And as well, it kind of just kind of goes to show that there's different countries, like I said, just like in China or, like, you know, other various locations that are way more stricter when it comes to what they allow and what they don't allow when it comes to games and games as a whole. So I want to hear your thoughts on this too as well because it does kind of seem kind of crazy that an entire country will be banning the game itself and let me know if you guys agree disagree and all that like i said i think it's kind of cool for square enix i think everyone should be allowed to play games and like i said as long as the story is good i don't mind you know what genders are what people's relationships are etc etc so hopefully it's still gonna be a good game at the end of the day now some other kind of big news we have actually seen that marvel spider-man remastered finally gets its own standalone release on the playstation 5 with a small upgrade fee though for the owners of the playstation 4 now this one's actually kind of a bigger deal too as well where basically it was also a brand new comic book they came up for Spider-Man 2, basically being announced for the upcoming game, where Insomniac Games has now confirmed that it's finally making Marvel Spider-Man Remastered available for the individual purchase. So previously only available on the PC or on special editions via the Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, the PS5 remaster Spidey's first outing will soon be up for sale as a standalone product. It's coming later this month and will be available for 50 bucks. Now, I think it's actually become a pretty good deal. We know that Spider-Man 2 is going to be coming out soon, and we're waiting for it pretty patiently. So if you guys have bought the PS4 release of Spider-Man, you'll be able to eligible to upgrade Path, basically to go get the game for $10 to get the access to the remaster for 10, uh, 50 bucks. I would take it. In all honesty, it's not that bad. Although, sadly, if you guys do have a PS Plus and you guys took it for free, you guys cannot go and take advantage of the offer. So, uh, very intrigued to go and see on this one because it's going to be finally good. Like, I feel like this was overdue. This should have showed up forever ago. And, well, at least it's coming out in the very near future. Now, as well, if you guys have actually a chance to miss this one, apparently Hogwarts Legacy was one of the top grossing titles in the UK and US. Fortnite, FIFA, and NBA 2K were among the highest revenue earners, too, as well. So, just in case you guys are curious, this game is probably be up there still. Valorant, funny enough, is in top three. We also did have Sons of the Forest, which I saw a lot of my friends play. Dead Space 2 is still up there as well. This is all for quarter one. The Sims 4, which is crazy because that game's an old. The League of Legends, Roblox, all those kind of live service type style games, even Warzone, Fortnite, and Destiny, have thought all been doing great. But it does seem like the Hogwarts Legacy has kind of done very, very well for all the sales. Now, on top of this, too, we also did go and see that Destiny we kind of covered this news before, is still following the latest Bungie lawsuit to go and take out all these Destiny 2 cheaters as well. So it does kind of seem like all these big seeking of damages is still progressing and making big news, mainly because it did have over 6,000 downloads over here for Destiny 2, and the multi-million dollar deal is still pushing. So just in case you guys are curious, on this one, they have had multiple different wins, the $4.4 million victory against AIM Junkies, as well as the $13.5 million cheat against Elite Boss Tech, and as well, the basically a lot of folks that are trying to make profit off of this are not doing so hot. So I want to hear all your thoughts and comments in the stories down below. And as well, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notification 
comings on. We have the Twitter and Twitch down below if you guys want to follow. Subscribe if you guys are new. We also have all the Amazon links and everything else all down below. And I just appreciate you guys all so much for watching here in the first place.